Yo, Mutthead TV, what is going on? It's Popular Stranger, and we are back again today with another card review. And today, we're going to be talking about the MVP Cam Newton card that can be earned from finishing the Carolina Panthers collection. There's about 40 cards, uh, a ton of elite cards, and, and it was it did cost me quite a bit to obtain this card, but I did finish the collection. The good thing about it is that you do get a 100k reward for finishing the car, the uh, collection. And then me personally, I had Ghost Cam Newton before I did this collection, and I was able to sell that for 150k. Um, so it did work out for me. I didn't really pay too much for the card, but if you're trying to do it now, especially with the, the three collectibles that you need, it can be a little tough. And there are some pretty expensive elite cards that it requires, like the two Luke Keekleys, um, which both go for about 40 to 50 to 60k. Um, but it has been very, very well worth it, in my opinion. And don't rage at me in the comments, but in my opinion, I believe this is the best quarterback in the game this year um, so far up to this point. So let's look at the back of the card stats. He's he's everybody knows Cam Newton is a huge, huge guy. Uh, pause. <laughs> but he's 6'5". He's he's a huge quarterback. He's not a normal quarterback. He's 6'5". He's strong. 96 injury, so he doesn't get hurt much. 87 elusiveness. Not the greatest, but for a guy of his size, that's really good. 93 speed. 88 awareness. 95 throw accuracy. That is clutch. 95 agility. Very good. 97 throwing power. And 88, I believe that's throw deep accuracy. Um, again, you guys can check out the stats on mutthead.com. Some of the ones that are not on the back of the card, um, I believe, are his. So his throw accu accuracy short is 93. His mid-range accuracy is 90. And his throw accuracy deep is 88. So uh, my bad. I, it, yeah, it is throw accuracy deep on the back of the card. Um, he has a 96 throw on the run. And you're going to see some examples of that coming into play um, once the gameplay commences. And I'll, I'll bring that to you guys here in a moment. Um, but just again, going over the stats, this dude is like a fullback with a great throwing stats. He has 87 trucking, uh, 94 ball carry vision, 85 stiff arm, 84 spin move, 85 juke move, 83 carrying. Uh, I know there's one more that I'm fit. Or no, maybe it's not. The, the trucking is the major one. It's a plus nine increase from the ghost card. Now, the ghost card I've had for a while and the fantasy card of his that was out earlier in the season I had for a while. And all three versions were great, just like the Shady McCoy that I brought to you guys. The Shady McCoy review I brought to you guys a couple uh, weeks ago. Um, but it's just like every step up, the card gets better. And this one is just unbelievable. He does not fumble the ball. You can run with him, lower your head, and get extra yards. You do not have to worry about him fumbling. He's able to take hits and, and and most of the times run at least one defender over it usually takes two guys um to tackle him if you're just running straight up at somebody so again a very good card in the arm strength and the accuracy are just amazing uh, so let's stop talking and just get into some gameplay all right so the three main things that i noticed this card does compared to his other versions of this card uh, a lot better are number one he fits the ball into really tight windows so on short passes he's a lot more accurate number two the arm strength as you see here on this clip is just amazing he can throw the ball 65 plus yards standing still and number three is not only his trucking and ability to run the ball but also to accelerate and get up the field he has a faster speed rating compared to his previous cards and he also has a plus two to acceleration um, so that really really helps not only him but all your other offensive players on the side of that ball when he's in the game. Um, throw on the run, as you saw in that previous clip, it is definitely good as well. Very accurate, even throwing on the run. Um, but just the accuracy is so deadly. The, the the trucking and the running, the ability to get over and, and, and pass players without being tackled, without being brought down, without turning the ball over is so very important. It's just something that makes me feel so much comfortable. Honestly, in my opinion, I would prefer this card right now over the 99 Michael Vick. I mean, look at this. I guarantee you Michael Vick cannot do a play like that where he gets tackled, pushed around, hit around, and still pick up 10 to 15 yards. Um, and then plus, 
plus, and this is just me personally, but you can do it as well. I have the Detroit Lions 99 Jim Schwartz card. That gives me plus two to speed. So right now, my Cam Newton really has a 95 speed, plus that plus two acceleration helps uh, tremendously, and he's just not the guy that's going to put the ball on the carpet. Just makes tons of really good throws. Look at that. In a tight window around a bunch of defenders, it's no sweat there. And then you see me run this play quite often in this clip, but he's able to just fit that ball in there in between a couple defenders without any problems here on the play action in between a triangle of defenders no problem Randy Moss wide open and then this is one it's not really part of my game normally but look at the arm strength there a, a close to a 65 yard pass there without any type of problems and he finds a receiver for the long bomb that's something I've been working with a lot lately since getting the card I'm not really a down the field type of threat guy but with this card and with Randy Moss as well it definitely makes that possible and uh, definitely easier to obtain. So I hope I can convince you guys to go after this card again. In my opinion, I believe he is the best quarterback in Madden Ultimate Team 25 up to this point. And if they give him another card that's even better than this one, well, then that's just... That's just a cheat code. It's just not even fair, man. It's not even fair at all. Look at this on the read option. He's just going to get out in space. They would eventually bring him down, but just a huge big gain. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you have any other questions about the card, feel free to leave them in the comment section, and I'll be sure to get back to you on any questions that you have. Make sure you check out my channel as well. It should be down below in the description of this video. And click that thumbs up if you like this Cam Newton MVP Ultimate Team review. You. If you guys got any other cards that you'd like me to review uh, personally, you know, definitely let me know in the comments as well. I would prefer if it's a card that's on my team already, uh, but if not, maybe I'll try to make a, make it happen for you guys. It's Popular Stranger, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Peace.